think that it's not gonna work this year. What? Doing this. What up? You need more interesting subject matter. Yeah, but that would help. <laughs> Tone it down a little bit, you know what I mean? Oh, motherfucker! Drop <laughs> a goddamn pizza! <laughs> I can see it less now. You gotta like stretch it out, like display it like you're a t shirt model. Like this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go inside. Silent seat ball? No. That's maybe a Boston, Massachusetts thing. Okay. Everybody would sit on their desks in a circle, and you're out if you don't catch the ball. If you don't throw the ball well, you're out. If you touch the ground, you're out. Or if you make a noise, you're out. Well, it's like, we should do it. Uh, no, we have. And we should do it. That was in third grade. <laughs> you got it? Mm, I don't know if that's an out. Sorry, dude. Thank God you had a hat bill on. <laughs> you, unfortunately, you are out. <laughs> Not all story events, here's a big one, must appear in the film. Every plot point is in the film, but a story element might not be in the movie. It might be something that is um, talked about, right? Or referred to, but isn't actually in the movie. For example, uh, uh, let's pick a movie that everybody's seen. Uh, 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 no. <laughs> What's a movie? Somebody name a movie. Near this spot on October 4th, 1832, Jonathan W. Niles unearthed the first complete Anchisaurus skeleton. Niles, an employee of the Milk Road Bleachery, found the discovery while working to fill the Miller's River Marsh. He is known for widely publicizing and leveraging the discovery for personal gain. In 1876, Alfred Worcester, a student of Harvard Medical School, inspected the bone's authenticity and concluded the find to be a hoax. Worcester stated that Niles had merely arranged the bones of a German shepherd and a common horse together in a convincing manner. Before this accusation could be confirmed, the Anchisaurus was destroyed in the Boston Fire of 1872, which also took the lives of Jonathan Niles and his wife Helen.
All right, do you know you have your spot? Yeah, get this leaf. That's where I'm gonna go. Okay, I'm gonna go. I guess I'll go a little bit. October 9th, 1917. My endeavor to write a poem every day has proven foolish. My talents wane in this late month. Perhaps I shall throw myself in the icy river. October 10th. River still lukewarm. Must wait till December. I took the, all of this from uh, 
a homeless man I met. And he was like, do you want to learn about the film? No, I don't know. No, I had the one with George Clooney on the cover. <laughs> I did, I don't know. So maybe they, they changed the term and didn't tell me. Uh, so I, I'll give you a point on that, everybody. Uh, obviously, it's C, no discernible plot. And then what's the difference between plot and story? Everybody pretty, uh, most people got this. You know, the plot is kind of all the events that happen in the movie and the story is like the overarching thing. And elements of the story might not take place in the movie, but they'll talk about them and stuff like that. Yeah, because yours is the reverse of it. You had the reverse. You, you says like plot, like for example, the bank robbery in, 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 in Reservoir Dogs. Yeah, it's not included all the parts of the story. <laughs> the plot does not have to include all parts of the story to convey the message. It's not wrong. It's not wrong. All right. <laughs> Y'all get fives. Did anybody not get a five and want one? <laughs>
She yeah. loves okay. tomatoes. She loves... Um, she goes, like, off and on, like, loving cheese and sort of just, like, eating it. Yeah, cheese um, is the best. She, lo- she loves fish. She loves fish. We give her, like, fish sticks and, like, she'll, she, like, eats it up. Do you like fish sticks? Um, what else does she really love? I mean, she'll try any kind of meat, you know? She, she likes anything, really. She loves beans. Yeah, I don't know what a movie is either. What's up? about to go down the street and all these horses come down so he turns and goes down the street facing the camera and he's walking in an elephant goes by <laughs> the whole room burst out laughing and i went that guy made that joke a hundred years ago yeah. and we're all sitting here laughing at it <laughs> talk about everlasting life my god that's timeless Say fruity pebbles or fruit loops. Some some fruity breakfast cereal. Fruit loops. Cereal. Yeah, it tastes like the milk of like when you're done with cereal, like a fruity cereal. It's like Almost Hawaiian punchy, but it's something like I ate a little bit of the cream before this, but I, for the purpose of the test, I didn't eat any of the Oreo itself. And it's something that like you'll eat initially, and you'll be like, "Wow, this is really good!" Like I really like 
have this craving for candy, but then eventually you're going to keep eating it, it's going to give you a headache, and it's just kind of disgusting. What is that? Is that Batman? Stop pushing me, dude. How much of your focus is on production versus... Geostorm. 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 Yeah. Geostorm, 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 or Geostorm? Yeah. Geostorm? Geostorm. Geostorm. Geostorm, 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 Geostorm. Geostorm! Woo!
Geostorm! My father. Self-destruct. Why would you bring that into the station? In case it fell to Earth. Storm? It's good because it's it's right because the 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 message of the movie is not like zombies are crazy. <laughs> not like with that. With that's what the theme would be if they died, you know, or like or it wouldn't be as good as the theme where that simply said it, it, it's not all fucked, as they say in the movie. You know that there's a lot of bad stuff, but you can find good. Why not?
right, quiet down. I want to show you a clip from City Lights that had a huge impact on me when I was in school. Thank you. 